Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. I'm here with another tutorial that you guys have requested. I'm talking about the Capes mod. Before I get into the tutorial, however, I want to first tell you that if you're new to my channel and find my videos useful, then please subscribe because it really helps and makes a difference. At this moment, my goal is to reach 1000 subscribers. Please help me grow out my channel by subscribing. Thank you. On my previous videos, some of you have requested that I make videos showing you how to download certain mods and I have them all noted down and will make a video for each, so stay tuned for them. This video will be on the Capes mod for 1.12.2 version for Mac. If you want me to show you how to download this same mod but for another version, then tell me in the comments below and I'll try to make a video showing you how to do so. But for now, let's get into this tutorial. So the first thing you want to do is download Forge. You have to make sure that the version of Forge you download is the same as the version of the mod um, you have. In this case, it's uh, 1.12.2. Although the 1.14.4 version is out, it's not worth downloading that version of Forge as, as very few mods are actually available in 1.14.4. The best Forges to download are 1.12 and 1.12.2. If you want a detailed tutorial on how to download Forge 1.12 for Mac, then go ahead and click on the first link in the description box below. The reason why you might want an older version of Forge is because there are more mods available for 1.12 than, for example, 1.12.2. Alternatively, you can continue watching this video where I go over how to download Forge 1.12.2. So, let's get on with this tutorial. The first thing you want to do is click on the second link in the description, which will lead you to the Forge website which is this one. And what you want to do is go to download latest, which is just as safe and in my opinion better than the recommended. So um, I recommend this one. What you want to do is click on installer and it will start downloading Forge and uh, it will warn you that it might harm your computer but it has never harmed mine so you can go ahead and click keep. And once it has downloaded uh, you want to uh, drag it to your desktop. Um, if you try to open it, you'll see that uh, it won't let you because it's an unidentified developer and what you want to do in this case is click on System Preferences on uh, Security and Privacy and then on Open Anyway and on Open. And then, uh, one second, this will, oh, sorry. Ignore everything. Okay, so this will pop up and what you want to do is install select install client and then click on OK and this will uh, Forge will start uh, installing and once it has installed successfully it will give you it will show you this message and if you don't get this message then that means that uh, Forge has not been downloaded properly and none of the mods will work. If you didn't understand uh, how I got to this step or you just want Forge 1.12, then you can go ahead and click on the first link in the description which will lead you to a tutorial, a step-by-step -step tutorial uh, on how to download Forge 1.12 if you are interested in that. Alternatively, if you uh, got this message and uh, you have downloaded Forge 1.12.2, we can go ahead and uh, download the actual mod. To do so, you have to click on the third link in the description, which will lead you to this website. One second, this website. So you, as you can see, Capes Mod, there you go. And uh, scroll down until you see Capes Mod 1.14.4, download links. And you click on this link, which will lead you to this other website. And um, choose which type you want to run Minecraft Capes on. And there are three types, but we have uh, Forge, as you can see, so we click on this one. And then uh, here are the options to, uh, from which to choose from, and we're interested in the 1.12.2. Again, here are the other versions. If you don't know how to download other versions, like you want the latest version, then uh, just tell me uh, in the comments below and I'll make a separate video especially for that version. But for now, we're interested in the 1.12.2, so we click on this one. And then um, we click on Download Micro Forge 1.12.2 and it will start downloading. And again, it will warn you and just click Keep. And then 
drag it to your desktop. Now you no longer need the forge uh, stuff, so you can just go ahead and uh, throw it in the trash. The only thing you need is the capes uh, mod, and make sure it's jar version, but it most probably is if you download it from the same link. And then what you want to do is make sure that Finder is here and click on Go. And then on Go to Folder and this will pop up. And what you want to do is write this exact thing in the search engine and I'll wait. Okay, make sure that the squiggly line and the dashes are also there. And then go to click on Go. And it will lead you to the Minecraft folder. And what you want to do is search for the Mods folder. And here it is. If you don't have a mods folder, then that's totally fine. All you have to do is create a new folder and name it mods. But I do, so I'm going to click this one. And it's empty for now, but I'm just going to uh, drag the Minecraft Capes mod in here. So making sure that it's 1.12.2 and it's corresponding um, to the Forge version I have just downloaded. Okay. Now... What I want to do next is click on Minecraft and wait for it to open, of course. Okay, and what you want to do is click on Installations and you want to create a Forge, a new uh, launcher installation thing for Forge 1.12.2. As you can see, I already have one, but let's just pretend that it's not there. Let's just delete it. Okay, and uh, what I would do in this case is I would uh, click on New. And then on, I would uh, name it something that will enable me to recognize it in the future, which is basic name. It doesn't appear anywhere, so it's not important. Um, and then uh, click on the version. We're not interested in the latest version because this is not uh, the Forge one, so it, the mod will not work. What we want is to scroll and look for uh, the Forge that is 1.12.2. And as you can see, I have more. You might only have one, in which case you only select that one. But if you have more like I do, then you just click on the one which has the largest number, which in this case, for me, it's 5.283. So I'm going to click on this one, and then click on Create, and it's here now. Then what I want to do, what we want to do is click on Play, and then click on Forge, uh, on here and select the forge we have just created which is the correct one for this mod and then click on play now because you have the mod added even if it's just one and a small one then uh, it's still gonna Minecraft is still gonna take a longer while to launch and open so just uh, give it some time now it's not gonna take hours and if it does take hours then there's probably an issue going something happened but if it only takes a few minutes, then it's totally fine, and you should just bear with it. I'm gonna skip over this section because it's just boring. So, yeah. Okay, so now that Minecraft has uh, loaded, you will see in the corner here that five mods loaded, five mods active. And to make sure that uh, the mod um, has been successfully installed, you can go ahead and click on Mods, and then scroll down until you see the mod. As you can see, it's Minecraft Capes mod, it's right here, and you're uh, all good to go and play and have capes in the game. Now, if you are tired of capes at some point, um, then all you have to do is click Disable, or you can just drag the capes mod out of the uh, mods folder. Either way, it's up to you. So, that was pretty much it for today. If you found this video in any way useful, then please leave a like and subscribe because it really helps and makes a difference, as I said before. Uh, if you got stuck at any step in this video, then go ahead and leave a comment and I'll try to help you as best as I can. As I mentioned uh, previously, if you want me to show you how to download another mod or this mod but for another version like 1.7.10 or 1.14.4, then also leave a comment below. I'll add it to my list of videos that I should uh, prioritize and uh, post it as soon as I can. If you want to check out any of my other Minecraft tutorials like the Twilight mod, the Animania mod, or the Two Items, Too Many Items mod, then I'll link some down below or you can click on my channel and check them out there. 
Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in future videos. Bye!